Hey, this is Zach from 2 to 4 Gamers, and today we're going to take a look at how to collect all the items from Chapter 2, Junkyard Isles, and Skylanders Giants. At the beginning of the level, break the wall with a bomb or giant and defeat all the chompies. Next, grab a bomb or use a giant and jump off the ledge to the left. Use the bomb or giant to destroy the wall, revealing the first treasure chest. Further up the path after you have defeated the two Dro Lance Masters, use a giant to remove the boulder blocking the way and then pull on the chain to bring the floating island closer to access the second treasure chest. After you leave Plin's ship for the first time, enter the hut to the right and use a bomb on the wall in the back of the room to gain access to the legendary treasure. Once you get to the area with two locks on the gate, follow the Mabu into the hut to gain the first gate key and to trigger a wave of enemies. Defeat these enemies to reveal a bounce pad. Jump to the top and use a giant to push over the stone pillar granting you access to the third treasure chest. Return back over the pillar and stay to the left and use the bounce pads to gain access to the story scroll. Next, you'll need to defeat the enemies at the first cannon you reach and then jump off the ledge to the right and enter the cave. Clear out the rocks in the center of the area and run up the ramp to the right. Turn right at the end of the ramp to get the bomb and use the bomb to blow up the purple crystals. Pick up another bomb and run up the ramp. This time, use a bomb to destroy the crystals to the left to gain access to the key. Use the key to open the lock giving you access to your first hat. Grab another bomb and quickly run up the ramp one last time. Turn left at the end to destroy the last purple crystal allowing you access to the fourth and final treasure chest. We turn to the cannon and shoot the three locks off of the gate. Once this is done, run forward and jump off the ledge and enter the cave. Run, 
These spot burn. Run straight ahead and collect your second and final hat. Leave the cave and continue up the path. After you move the three blocks into place, use a giant to break the wall giving you access to the soldier. Next, cross the dock and head past three blocks you previously moved to collect the winged sapphire. Finally, cross the three blocks and enter the cannon. Immediately shoot the windmill to reveal the Luckatron wheel, completing the item collection for Chapter 2. Once again, thank you for watching and please like, comment, or subscribe for more videos.